Okay, so this is going to be an unboxing setup and first impressions of a new MacBook Pro M1. Now, the last one I had, um, what well, the specs differed a little bit, but this one is largely the same. Unfortunately, it has eight gigabytes, but it has 512 gigabytes of storage rather than um, 256 gigabytes of storage. It's not what I intended to get, but that's all that I could find. 16 gigabyte MacBook Pros were not available. So this unboxing and setup is going to be pretty straightforward. The box is very solid, very nice. Shows that it has 8 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of solid state storage. And it has a 8 core CPU and an 8 core GPU, so we know that it's an M1 chip, which is great. Apple makes the experience really nice. They show you on the front. A nice uh, shot of a MacBook Pro. And we're going to pull the tab and it's going to be Christmas again. Okay. Let's do the signature unboxing. Oh yeah, I did not specify space gray, so I may have a silver MacBook Pro. That's okay. Don't really care that much. So we've got the MacBook all wrapped up in its nice from the factory packaging, which is groovy. Got a 61 watt charger for the MacBook Pro, uh, which is different from the MacBook Air, which has a 30 watt charger. Got USB-C to USB-C cord. I think this is three meters long, so about six feet. Looks about that. And I'm not going to take all this apart, but inside here is a, well, why not? Let's do that. Let's take a look at what's inside. I have a instruction booklet. Looks like a warranty or some kind of federal re regulatory stuff. And yes, we do have a space gray MacBook Pro because the apples inside here are color coordinated so that's groovy all right I'm gonna put that back in so that when I sell this or return it it'll all be in place I don't need that adapter as I already have a 16 inch MacBook Pro which I will use to power this baby Let's take the plastic off. That's always the fun part. Now, if experience is any indicator, when I open this up, it should bong right away. And we should be on our way to Macland. Yep. Powers up right away, take off the screen protector. It's a nice experience all around from Apple where they give you the power up right away 
and the bong welcoming you to the Apple universe. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Ooh. So I'm just going to run through these setup screens. I'm going to record this. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. All right, select country or region. Most definitely the U.S. of A. U.S.A. 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 Accessibility features. I don't need to look at that right now. I do need to connect the Wi-Fi. And I'll momentarily slide my Mac out of the way so you can't see my password. Because I'll forget to edit. I'll always say, oh, I'll edit, I'll edit. But I never do. Data and privacy. I'm not even going to read this. I'm going to trust Apple to keep my data private. Migration assistant. Uh, don't need that. I always start fresh and clean. Okay, so now let's set up Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? All right, so Siri is ready. Do I want to share audio recordings? Sure. I have nothing to be ashamed of. Set up Touch ID. Place my index finger on here, on my right index finger. Do it again. Done this a few times. Apple Pay. Do I want to set up Apple Pay? Sure, I do. Certainly. Because using Apple Pay is quite convenient. The Apple Card is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I personally like the light look. True tone display. That's part of why I bought this laptop, so I want to keep it. Okay, so it's all set up. Uh, what I like to do is run a couple of quick benchmarks. One of the benchmarks I like to run is speedometer. Web speedometer. So this should give me a quick indication of how fast this laptop's web browser is, and really the laptop itself. It's flashing through. I expect this M1 MacBook to get 200 and 30 on this benchmark just because that's what all the other M1s have been getting. The web browser 
on this thing is ungodly fast. 219. Okay. Just for reference, my 16-inch MacBook Pro gets uh, 130, between 130 and 140. Now let's run Octane. This is a JavaScript benchmark. Probably shouldn't be moving the mouse pointer around, but hey. My MacBook Pro 16 inch with eight cores will get about 38, uh, 40,000. And it's getting 61,000. Most impressive. Okay, that was a quick unboxing and just a couple of quick web benchmarks to get a feel for the speed of the processor. Okay, now that I have a couple things set up, let's run some typical bench marks like Geekbench. Geekbench 5. It should give me an idea of where I am on the silicon lottery. The my MacBook Pro 16 inch, just for reference, gets about 11, between 1,000 and 1,100 on the single core. And it gets about 6,100 on the multi core. All right. Let's see what this new Mac can do. Okay, so we got a single core geek bench of 1712, which is most impressive. That's almost twice my 16 inch MacBook Pro. And we have a multi core score of 7294, or just call it 7300, which beats my MacBook by about 1200 points. That's pretty amazing. <clears throat> and this is supposed to be the entry level of the MacBook M1s. This is not even supposed to replace the 16 inch, but it's it's up there. Although I do suspect that the 16 inch will beat it out when it comes to discrete graphics in a major big, big time way. All right. Let's test out the GPU, speaking of. I'm expecting this to get about 21,000. Because it has eight graphics cores as opposed to the typical seven that would be on the MacBook uh, Air with the M1. And the MacBook Air, I believe, scores about 16,000. Uh, 17,000 we'll see here in a few seconds but I would imagine that the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the discrete graphics card gets a, a lot lot higher okay so we're getting um, getting close to 20,000 19,600 and 38 so that's pretty surprising I thought it would be more than that I have to look around on the internet and see what it typically runs <clears throat> 